she is a really good baby, like so far. And oh, I think the hardest yeah. thing for me at the minute, it's with Arthur, like he's, he doesn't oh, listen to me. Like I'm trying to be so nice because I don't want to, I don't want to make him feel isolated. I don't want to make him feel like he's being pushed out. No, but it's too much the touching of the face. And I, and I feel I've got to keep an eye on him and I don't like it. It's for attention. Yeah, it's no, for yeah, my but attention. You don't have to keep touching her face and her head constantly. I know. And I'm like, just give her a nice kiss. And I showed him how to kiss her. Like, nice normal kiss. Like, like not... this, really? But that, the reality of it is, that that's, that's really hard with him. And then I feel bad because I don't want to make him feel pushed mm. out. And I don't want to make him... feet in time, it will just get better. Right, should we go down and get things ready? Yes. Because Samantha's going to be here. So, Auntie's going to be with Rose and Paul Edward soon. Yeah. Yeah, she can't wait to see yeah. you. Hello. Hi. Yeah, boy, yeah, boy. Oh, my lovely giant bunny. You are giant, baby. You are giant, baby. But this is my baby, you got Edward. No, we've got a big gigantic baby. You're a big boy, aren't you? Who's this then? Who's mummy got? Who's mummy got? Look, mummy. Who's mummy got in there? Smell for you must be so strong carrying him round. Yeah. It only feels like yesterday that Edward was born, and this is exactly why I just want to make the most of Margot and just literally enjoy every single second with her while she's this little tiny newborn because it literally goes so quick. Is he crawling? Almost. He might crawl whilst we're here. <laughs> come on, come to auntie. Go to auntie. Come to auntie. Come on, you could do it. You could do it. Oh, I love you so much. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, give auntie a couple. I love you, I love you. So did your milk dry up all right? <laughs> oh, don't. <laughs> milk dry up. No, it's still, it's still leaking, is it? I was expressing it and giving her the express in the bottle because she just would not, like, oh, honestly, it was so... That's like what I had with Edward. A couple of so days, hard. it was so stressful. I completely get it. When, with Edward, I found it, he wouldn't latch. My nipples were the sorest they've ever been in my whole entire life. Oh. I was crying. Then I got mastitis twice. I could oh. understand that mums are breastfeeding for the first time, let's say. Give up, Give because up. it's yeah. horrendous. That was really bad. Really? But I never had that before, Rosie. No. Has she been out much? No, funnily enough, we was going to take her for a walk today. Was she? But it's just the snow in the eye. Well, I, I didn't leave the house for nearly two and a half weeks with Edward. Yeah. Well, I don't feel like... Oh, yeah. I don't really feel like leaving. There's nothing going on out there anyway. I don't know. Worry. Yeah. Stay in your lovely me. brand new home with your fresh, tiny little baby in the warm. Yeah. <laughs> We've had lots of highs and lows, as you can yeah. imagine. I was really teary yeah. with Edward. Same. Really oh teary. God. Same. Yeah. yeah. I think a lot of it is to do with the other two as well, so I think that... You forget how demanding a newborn is. Yeah. And a newborn really only wants to be with mummy. Mummy, And yeah. then you feel guilty. No, Arthur's, yeah, he's been, like, quite hard at work. Uh. Like, he doesn't listen, like, he... Yeah. Like, uh. but, he but that's also, I think attention. that's attention, and obviously for him, finding it difficult maybe to adjust. Yeah. He was, like, coming over to him and going... Right. <sighs> yeah. Creepy. But things like that would set me off crying. Right. I'd have to go upstairs and take a breather in and cry about it. Juggling life as a mum of three, it's not easy. It's, it's hard. And you also feel mum guilt because you feel like you can't give the others as much attention as what you normally would. And I do have to take myself off and have a cry about it. I can't explain it. It's like a wave of emotion that can come over you. And it can be the smallest things that trigger it off.